It's the best game on the internet that you never knew you needed to see. Where do I wake up today? And we're getting here a little earlier, so I'll actually be able to show you the campground before we wake up. And I can't wait. We're gonna be here a couple of days. We are on our way to Kansas City, so we're in Missouri. And um, well, this one looked pretty promising online. So crossing our fingers, it is. Here we are, Sparrow Foot Park on Harry S. Truman Dam and Reservoir. Can't wait for this one. The, the windshield is bad, guys. The windshield is bad. It has been raining up here, so this is on a lake. We're gonna find out real fast what that lake is looking like. <laughs> Always a challenge whenever you're traveling to new places. out like I think it's going to. This is going to be nice. This is going to be super nice. Everything is so beautiful and green right now and this is well shaded along the roadway so I'm hoping the campground has a little bit of shade also. Now a little bit of sun wouldn't hurt anybody either because we like to charge with our solar but this is one of the rare occasions where today I will be staying at a campground that actually has plug-ins. We decided that before we go to the gutted premiere we wanted to plug in a little bit and get everything fully charged up and it's been kind of hard because it's been rainy for the past few days and our last site was not a plug-in site. So we're off to see um, what this park has in store. Okay, so they have a dump station. That's a good start. That is a very good start. Looks like that is a bathroom right there. So, so that's good. And uh, she's waiting on me right here. It looks like we turn into this part right here. So she's trying to get turned back around and then we're gonna go down this loop. So that is gonna be a nice, pretty shady loop right there. And it's not too busy. We're here on a Monday, so it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, these sites are really nice. They have picnic tables. They have fire rings. It looks like a little bit of everything. And they accommodate up to two vehicles. So we're gonna go check out which one that we have. a little assessment of our situation we have some pretty trees out here and as you can see everything is just like electric green this is amazing um, we're getting ready to plug in but first we have to go see what the power situation is so we have our little power down here so i'm probably going to bring my jackery over here in just a few minutes and plug it in direct because it got down to like 13% or something like that. And well, that's not gonna power anything. So, um, Shanine right now is getting herself all taken care of. Let's walk over here by the trees. Ooh, pretty trees. And uh, we'll go check out some of the other things. Also, because it rained, I, I probably need to clean this. This is gross, guys. Another note, we have a campfire and grill situation right here. And then right next to it is our picnic table which looks like it may be in pretty good shape. Let's see, let's see. No sags, no drags, we're doing good. And this is a long picnic table, so this could probably accommodate like a family of at least eight here easily. And then we do have a lantern hook spot also that I may put a lantern on in a little while when it gets a little closer to dark. So there's that. Now, this campground also has a couple of different bathroom options. We have the vault toilets like right over here. And then over there is where we saw that shower house. All in all, not too bad. And uh, the water is kind of over in this direction. So we're out of the water enough that it's not gonna be a problem if it rains, which I was, that was my only concern whenever I saw the water levels kind of as we started coming near, because I know it's been raining a lot. And um, we don't want to swim in the van. So we're gonna go and uh, get ourselves all set up and everything. And then after we do, I'll check back with you guys and show you what we're doing around camp. This is gonna be a super, super fun couple of days. So this is what's going on right now. I'm still charging this one cause I didn't realize it was fully dead and I can only charge one power station at a time. Uh, she is getting her setup all set up. In the back, I have this guy who is currently running my fridge. I always, have something plugged into the fridge just so that I don't lose my food. Usually it is the larger power station, but you know, this little guy right here, we're doing some tests, it, it's working out pretty well. 
So yeah, this is kind of where we're at. With that said, uh, we couldn't check in here until about six o'clock at night, which is kind of a later check-in than usual. So I was kind of shocked by that. Other than that though, it's looking like it's gonna be a pretty good little spot. We don't have to leave until four o'clock on checkout day. So that's kind of neat, but um, yeah, let's go some more stuff around camp. Starting out, we're going to go check out this guy over here. We're plugged directly into the source, so we should be pulling some good watts. We are, we're pulling 144 watts and it's already gone up 4% since I plugged it in. So that is good. I'll show you a little bit more of the campground itself because this place is really nice. And I'm kind of surprised that even on a Monday, it isn't more crowded. Now where we were staying last was super crowded, like overcrowded almost. So this is a nice departure and it's gonna be pretty cool. We have about three neighbors, one over here and two back here. So not anything too crazy. So uh, that's nice. That's super, super nice. Okay guys, so it's a standard vault toilet, but as you look in, this is all that it is. There's no sink or anything for anybody who hasn't been to a campground with one of these. So you need to bring your own stuff with you and uh, always make sure the door is closed. That's how these toilets work so they don't get stinky. Morning we woke up, it's just really nice. The weather feels amazing right now. So I have both the doors open, a good breeze blowing through, charging my batteries over at the plug-in and I'm about to edit, but before that, I wanted to just lay here and enjoy some space. Every so often, just a quiet day at camp is kind of nice. And so today, I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take in the view out the doors. Look at that. Huh. I might even go over here in a minute and do a little bit of working at the, at the table. You know, that, that could be nice, too. That could be nice, too. goodness I'm just waking up last night oh wow we saw that it was predicted to have some rain come through the area this is what it actually sounded like I think you could tell from that that wasn't just some rain that was a lot of rain and it came down with intensity and it was crazy sounding at one point I thought it might have been hailing but I don't think it was. That was a lot, guys. Oh my gosh. But after the rain, some of the most beautiful mornings. So here at the campground, let's go see what it looks like. Waking up is the hardest part sometimes. Oh, it's beautiful. And the weather feels so nice right now. Okay, we did have a couple little disasters, it looks like. The shower tent. This is Shanine's shower tent. It is laid over, so we're gonna have to fix that, but I'm surprised that it's even still here, to be honest. Back last night, the wind got to be so crazy, I didn't think anything was gonna be out here anymore. <laughs> it was intense sounding. I was sitting in my van going, oh, oh no, oh no. And I just kept trying to remember where this tree and this tree were because I couldn't remember if I was parked under them or not and all I could see in my head was impending doom. <laughs> I'm so dramatic sometimes but um everything looks okay. We do have a little bit of like water on the ground still. The lake despite the fact that we were in a flood warning doesn't look like it came up into the campsite so that's good. 
we stayed far enough away that we thought we'd be in a safe spot even if it rained. And as you can see, it's just beyond this tree line at the back here. So everything looks pretty decent. None of those sites in the back even were encroached upon. So that's good. And after I left the last state park, Dimples was pretty dirty from the storms because I got stuck under a tree that basically wilted. It looks like the rain forced away all of that. So all in all, Dimples looks pretty clean now as opposed to what it did. Of course, there's still bug guts, but you know, it, it's bug guts. And there's kind of a funny story about this right here. Um, so yeah, this is our trash. And our trash didn't start out here. In fact, it started out in a different place because we were going to walk it over and then the storm started. So we just had to put it here. Tonight, I was sitting in Nomadic Nanny, Shanine's van. She has a rotating seat, which is super cool. One of these days, she's going to have to show you guys on a tour. But um, yeah, sitting there, hanging out, doing what we do. We were watching some YouTube, some of our friends. And um, all of a sudden, peeking out under her door, because her door actually opens out like this, as opposed to mine that slides. Peeking out under the door, two little hands. It was a raccoon. And it wasn't just a little raccoon, it was a big boy. And he had come to get stuff from our campsite and he was huge and I wasn't expecting him. And I screamed as though I had never screamed before in life. Now, the same seat that I was sitting in, it's just a regular chair, it's just a regular chair. I managed to jump out of the seat, almost into like the little middle part between the two seats. And um, of course I scared him, I scared myself. Uh, but he ran off, but he didn't run off completely. He ran off to this area right over here. And he was just, as uh, raccoons do. Um, so I thought we were in the clear. I scared him, cool. Then we remembered we had trash and I went, oh no. And Nomadic Nanny went, oh no. And so I came out here to check on this trash, which had been sitting by this tree. Sure enough, Mr. Raccoon had all through it so uh, we had to move the trash. And then, again, it started raining. Mr. Raccoon wasn't finished for the night though. He managed to scare me one other time. And finally, I was done. I was done. I've never been uh, run up on by animals that just had no chill. Didn't care if I was there. This guy, he was literally right here. And we have some waters right there. It's water, it doesn't have any kind of fragrance. But he was after our waters. It was a shame. But um, once again, I had to, you know, scare him away. But I did that in the way that I scared myself. So uh, this van right here, this van, this long van. I was sitting in this front seat. I ran all the way to the back to get away from the raccoon. <laughs> you can see how my night went. Despite that though, I slept super, super well. Let's see where our batteries are for the day. Oh, that actually did pretty good. I was using my Blue Eddy because yesterday I was charging my Jackery and I wanted to see how the Blue Eddy would do overall with the fridge because I do use the Blue Eddy a lot, but I've never really used it for a long term on the fridge. So it ran all night long on the fridge plus half of the afternoon and uh, it only lost about 40% of the 700, which is a big, huge deal because I didn't just have that plugged in. I also had a few other things plugged into it last night. So that's pretty good. Having power has been nice. I have literally been getting out all of my power cords each day and just charging the power stations and doing things like that. But I will have to find time to put these all away today because tomorrow we're heading out again. I will say it's been very nice staying here. It's been very quiet. There's only about three campers in the entire campground and then later on today I think we're going to have a little guest. I, I'm really liking this particular campground. Though it is a paid campground, it's a very nice one. It's not very expensive and it's beautifully shaded. And so I definitely will be putting this on my list to return to this area because I have some things that I want to do in the Kansas City area in the future also. But you know where this is going, guys. You see that my eyes are super squinty because the sun is really bright. So uh, it is time for the sunglasses. I'm going to start moving about my day. I'm going to do a little bit of editing and I'll check back with you guys in just a few minutes.
decided I was going to go ahead and just take a little bit of a walk. There's our campsite over there. And I was kind of surveying what the storm left behind. And right over here, do you see this? Do you see this? It looks like this branch fell off last night in the twisting, gnarling of the wind. But other than that, everything looks pretty good around camp. I really do love just walking around campsites sometimes. It's just really nice to just take it in and stretch a little bit. And I can hear the water in this direction. I can see a path in this direction that looks a little gnarly, so probably couldn't use that one today. But yeah, it's just cool to kind of come out here and explore and just see all of, you know, what each campground has to offer. No two campgrounds are exactly the same, even if they are put together by the same group. And so, uh, yeah, I just kind of like this. So I'm gonna finish up my walk and show you a couple of the views and then, uh, well, we'll get back to camp and start on something else. Okay, I made it over to the big bathhouse and there's some toilets here and a nice little vanity with some mirrors and plug-ins. And then on this side, and don't worry, I've already checked to make sure no one's in here. This is the side that has the showers. So let's go see what a shower looks like at this campsite. Um, let's see, it looks like there's a couple different size stalls. So we have a bench, it's concrete base, just tile. And then it looks like, ooh, free showers. Oh yeah. And then there's also an area to hang up your stuff. So that's really, really nice. Thirdly, I would say that when I walked in here, this is probably not one of the newest shower houses that I've been to. However, it does look like they've worked to keep it in good working condition. And those showers looked nice. I will be coming back over here for one of those in just a few minutes. But this place is uh, pretty big. They also have a laundry next door. So let's go check that out. In fact, you see this door right here, that's the laundry. And then down there is the men's room. So let's go see what the laundry looks like. Is it open? It is. Ooh, this is a nice little coin operated at laundry. It looks like $2 for that, $1 for that. Okay, so, and then $1 for this. So our washer options, or one dollar, and then there's a smaller dryer for one or a larger dryer for two. And then of course they have the sink. So this is really nice in here. I just add that not all campgrounds have laundry. So this could actually be very handy, but I gotta go see if we've got quarters. Now, uh, if we do, it's game on. It's like outside of the bathroom, there's also a potable water area. And then just beyond that, you see there is a trash. So all in all, pretty cool. Now I found this map also because I didn't have this before. And look, this is where we are right here, Sparrowfoot. But all of these other little green spaces are also Corps of Engineer parks around the lake. So that's pretty cool. I decided I wanted to go to town to pick up some food. And oh my goodness, as I'm driving, I can see the water and it is way up here too. Oh, this is crazy how much rain that they've been receiving in Missouri, but wow. Sometimes around camp, it's nice to have something that's not just cooked at camp. So today I decided with this drive, I'm gonna go and pick up something that looked delicious. Now, when I say it looked delicious, a friend of ours sent us a picture and he was eating this. And so we instantly were like, yes, we need that. So um, doing what nomads do, getting in my house and uh, driving down the road. <laughs> Pizza, here I come. Pizza secured. Now it's time for us to go back to camp so that we can eat. Not always that I get super excited about like Pizza Hut pizza. I normally like to try something new in different places as I travel, but today that just sounded good. And I think the moral of the story is treat yourself to what you want. I mean, really, you only live once. So if you're hungry for Pizza Hut pizza, go get it. 
I'm a bad influence, guys. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> well, we've been here for a couple days, but let's open our door because this is our last day here at Sparrowfoot. Ooh, it rained a little bit. But look who I found. She pulled in yesterday. Oh my goodness. In fact, Ladybug got pulled in last night because we're all caravanning over to the gutted premiere and it's gonna be super, super fun, guys. This campground has been wonderful and it was great to be able to just sit here and enjoy our time with friends, just doing normal things that friends do. You know, sometimes we think that we have to only assemble with our friends when we go to these grand van events, but at the same time, you don't. Sometimes you can just come to a campsite like this, just have a good time. In fact, last night we had the most fun time ever. We just uh, sat around our little campfire, having a good time, and well, this ensued. Remember when I said I'd never used it? Oh, wait, is that a snap? You I got to get I that thought. undone. Well, I unsnapped that part. <laughs> no, it. No. I think there's probably one at the. Front oh, here. Or this is here. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> no, that was the wrong way. <laughs> no, it was, that was the right no. way. Oh God! <laughs> I can't. You know what? I'm left-handed, and my wrist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need goggles. <laughs> Guys, this is the part of the day where we get it all together and put our trash away and start to call it a day here at the campground. Now, this has been a great campground. And as you can see, I got some eyebrows that I'm trying to put on my face right now. But yeah, this has been a really nice campground. We did get rained on a couple times, but all in all, it wasn't too bad. In fact, last night, it was a nice, cool night, which is super awesome considering it's been pretty warm the last few days. I am put together. I just need to put some lip on and then I am moving everything into driving mode and then we are out of here. It has been a wonderful stay. I hope you have enjoyed coming along with me. This is a great campground. It is a paid campsite, however, but it is wonderful. So I think you guys would like it. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe, and check out other campsites that I have stayed at in my campground playlist. It will not disappoint you. There are so many great campsites that I found along the way and you guys need to go and visit some of them. Till next time guys, bye!